Hey guys, how have you been? I hope you're doing great and that you have been having a fantastic week. Uh, in this video, we are looking at the Dell wired mouse with a fingerprint scanner. And now one might argue, why do, why do you want to spend close to 4,000 rupees on a wired mouse? So the answer is one, this is not just a mouse. This is also a fingerprint reader and a standalone fingerprint scanner costs 3000 rupees just by itself and of course the quality will be better blah 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 but this bundle deal is nothing short of fantastic i'll leave the link in the description below make sure to check it out and two i don't want to buy a wireless mouse unless the battery is rechargeable so a wired mouse is still a fantastic option to reduce the usage of batteries and to save money on batteries blah 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 blah, blah right and now, what I really love about this specific mouse is the ergonomic design. It's shaped a little like the Surface mouse. I'm not comparing it to that, but it's close. And since there is a fingerprint scanner, you can use it to sign into Windows using Windows Hello. Now, this happens to me. Uh, this happens to be my dad's computer, and that's why it's giving me the message that it cannot let me in. But otherwise, you can set up the fingerprint and using Windows Hello, you will sign in using your fingerprint. And we did have some trouble with the fingerprint because Windows automatically installs a few drivers, right, for you to set up your mouse. But it installs only those drivers that are necessary for a mouse. So if, if the fingerprint is not working for you, if you are unable to configure uh, the fingerprint in Windows uh, hello sign in and everything go to device manager there you will see something called biometrics the third one from the top here if you're not seeing that it means that you don't have the drivers so go to the dell website i'll leave the link in the description below and download the drivers download them both install them both and then run it you should now see biometrics and you should now be able to configure windows hello so that's about it I hope you found this video informative. Thank you so, so very much for watching and have a lovely day ahead. Peace.